and his relatives are long-established enemies of man. He is a wicked, unpredictable opponent. Marine hazards such as sharks definitely are to be expected in warm water and may be encountered in cool water. There are several ways these dangerous and unwelcome visitors may be attracted to your area. Blood in the water, any blood, human or otherwise, is extremely dangerous. And it doesn't take much. The shark has an extremely sensitive sense of smell. Two molecules of blood reaching a shark's nostrils are enough to start him homing on you. Most sharks are scavengers. If you dump your garbage, vomit, urine and feces near your raft, the sharks probably will be there shortly. Never put anything in the water if sharks are around. Even if no sharks are in the area, throw your waste materials as far from your raft as possible and in very small quantities. Avoid unnecessary kicking and splashing when you are in the water because sharks have a highly developed hearing apparatus. Any noise transmitted through the water is likely to attract them from a considerable distance. Jerky, uncertain movements increase chances of attack because they think you're in trouble or hurt. An easy touch for them. Sharks are attracted by contrasts of lights and darks in clothing colors and in human skin tones. The shark's vision, although poor by our standards, enables him to see these contrasts extremely well. Anything that stands out from the general background color of the sea is liable to attract his attention. Do not remove your shoes. Bare skin, as well as bright colors, provide a great deal of contrast. The shark is well equipped to provide for himself in his environment. So the best way to stay out of trouble is to stay in your raft. When you are certain that sharks are in the area, use shark repellent and use it properly. Remember, protection in depth is important. The dark cloud is a camouflage to conceal you and frighten the sharks. Further, the chemicals in it create an odor that is disagreeable to them and confuses their sense of smell. Be aware that sharks are more prevalent in warm areas. Be ready to repel them. If there are no sharks around, stay quiet and avoid attracting them. If sharks are in the area, you can repel them with sounds by striking the surface of the water with your cupped hand. Use a strong, regular beat. Or you can shout underwater. on the surface of the preserver or raft. Sharks shy away from strange sights. Among the visual methods of preventing attacks are directing a stream of bubbles from your life preserver in his direction. Tearing up paper into small pieces 
and scattering them all around the raft. And during an attack, take a Mark 13 flare, fire it, and hold it under water while it is burning. On the physical side, if a shark threatens to attack you or damage the raft, discourage him by hitting him on the nose or jab him in the gills. Use a bailout bottle or paddle, not your fist. Remember, his front end is practically all mouth. Be careful not to break the paddle or lose your bottle. And don't take roundhouse swings that may upset your raft. Do not try to shoot or knife him. Chances are you would only slightly injure and infuriate him. If you are in the water when a shark comes at you, time your movement and swim quickly to one side to evade him. Sharks do not have to turn on their backs or side to attack or bite. They can do it from any angle. But it is difficult for them to make sudden turns. You can dodge them. It has been done by others. You may have heard that porpoise will always attack sharks. This is not true. The porpoise may attack the shark, but will not necessarily do so. Precautions should be taken even when porpoise are nearby. When crossing coral reefs or sandbars in warm areas, be extremely cautious. Sharks gather and feed in such areas. A group threatened by shark attack should bunch together and form a tight circle. If the sea is rough, tie yourselves together. Face outward so that you can see an approaching shark. Ward off an actual attack by kicking or stiff arming. If one of you is bitten or wounded, he should be treated for hemorrhage and shock within the protective circle. Improvise a tourniquet if needed. Remember, in an emergency, always keep calm. If you have to swim, swim with measured strokes. Use shark repellent if sharks are in the area. Be sure to envelop your entire body in the dye. Anything protruding from the dye is a target. Make sure to draw your feet up. Once in your raft, stay there and remain quiet. Be especially alert in warm areas. Throw wastes as far away as possible in small amounts. Remember that as a human being, you are smarter than a shark, if you use your head. You can prevent attacks by not providing the bait or the activity to attract his attention, by understanding his weaknesses, and remembering his keen ability to hear, smell, and see contrasts. Panic on your part increases the chances of a successful attack. Keep calm, plan your actions, and prevent an attack through knowledge and application. 
prevention is more than half the battle.